Yo, what's up, sexy Samalander squad? This is take two of showing you guys the Samazots coming back in it. Um, the first game he surrendered at five minutes. So I, I went ahead and deleted that recording. I have, uh, I was talking about, like, I, I was going to do a double feature. So I was like still talking during the queue and whatnot. And I decided against doing the double feature just because the queue was four minutes long and I didn't want to, you know, waste four minutes of your time. So. Uh, anyways, first off, if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and above all, subscribe because we got to get to 100k, man. We got to get to 100k. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm in the top 20 in the world right now. I'm pretty sure I'm still. I I checked before this game. I was um. I go horrific or do I go like shell or something? Because I don't want bracer because he has anti heal with his one. Let's go horrific. Um, I checked before this game. I have twenty one seventy two MMR, so I will have. Uh, so I, I mean, I don't know what I will have after this game if I win or lose, but at the moment I am in the top twenty in the world in duel. So I'm. I think I'm the like number three for NA in duel. I think the two people above me are Paul and Face. So, um, so yeah. Right, he's gonna use his bracer. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. That went as perfect as I planned it. All right, he's dead here. Should be. Yep. Perfect. Alright. <clears throat> now the only issue is that after beating his ass, he might also do a 5 minute surrender. If that's the case, um, I'll probably just like restore that other video and edit them together. I, I don't know what I'll do, dude. I don't, I don't know. I guess you'll know before I know, technically, you know. <sighs> you'll know before I know, you know. Stupid. What are we a fucking English speaker, you goddamn moron? I'm not scared of him whatsoever, so. That makes me mad! Yo! Oh, dude, if that hit him, that would have been sick. Ow. Alright, you know what? Fine. You win. You win. All back. He's gonna die to minions. You're actually gonna die to minions, dude. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. Let's go ahead and get our Blackthorn online. And just get one of each pot because... Sustain never bothered me anyways. And, uh... I guess we'll clear that wave and we'll do our blue. Damn, he's still level 4. That's rough. That's really rough. Is he not backing? I couldn't tell. And the best thing about this whole game so far is that we got all three buffs, which means our passive is maxed out. And we have, uh, I believe, 18% lifesteal, right? I hope we drink. Essence drinker buff, 6%, yeah. So I have 18% lifesteal right now. Hmm. Alright. I do respect the bracer. That was a good play. Go ahead and jump. Thank you. Alright, I'm garbage. My bad, I forgot about my own garbage skills. It is garbage man, not garbage can... What? Shut up. Alright, he's dead. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'm dead. Yikes. How? Oh my god, we're both 1 HP, dude. Oh, don't back. No. That was the right play. That was the right play to back. I gotta give it to him. 
He knows his shit. Well played. I didn't really lose anything off of that because he used his alt and his bracer and I used my alt and my horrific. I'm buying mana potions. Oh god, stop. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, overall it was a pretty good trade. This, however, will not be for me because he's going to be a big fucking boy. And I want to not be a part of it. There we go. Is doing his blue, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know, maybe he was circling around to come and try to steal the red, but he's just doing his blue. It's a good play. If you're behind, you probably shouldn't go for the red there anyways. Probably should just go for the safer bet, which is securing your own blue, because you know I want the red, you know, so. So cool, it was a cool play, good play. I like the way this guy's playing so far, it's pretty good. He's not letting the snowball affect him as heavily as it could. Which I'm proud of. Alright. First things first. Gonna run over here. Not be scared of him because we are Kamazots. He's gonna alt. Or uh, not alt. I'm actually not gonna use that last charge because I want to keep my distance a little. Okay. Should still be good. Yeah, I got Blackthorn, so pretty good to just kind of smack a Reno. Alright, tower down. We are alive. And I'm going to back and go ahead and get my boots. Don't do it. Close. Um, and then we're going to go Hydras. Because Hydras on Kamazots just smacks so much. If I was him right now, um, this would not be my build. I would be building defense up the ass. Because the only way he's going to have a chance to make a comeback is if I make a really big misplay. And I... Uh, <clears throat> I, I knew that too wasn't going to hit, by the way. I just wanted to stop his back. Um, did, did he... Wait, my one actually missed? What was that noise? I have, my head I have my headphones on the wrong way. Okay, anyways. Um... Uh, I could just go do Bull Demon, but... Oh, hello. Go ahead and jump. He always shoots to the left. I'm going to jump his alt when he uses it. Okay. He actually held his ult way too long there. Way too long. And I know that Kamazot's videos don't really get a lot of views on my channel, and the reason for that is because people know me for being really good at Kamazot, so when you see a Kamazot's video, uh, more or less, you're just like, okay, well, um, Sam won, so there's no point in watching it. But honestly, there is a really big reason to watch it, and one of the biggest reasons to watch it, if you know that someone is really good at something and it's like, it's one of their go-to picks and like it's one of their really, really high quality, mechanically skilled um, gods that this player can do, you should watch them because you will learn about the god, you know? All these little changes that normally don't matter. Like for instance, right there, I think most players, Probably would have used their two on um, on the Kukulin, and the reason that I didn't use it on the Kukulin was because I needed um, I needed my passive to get reset, so I could I could keep that passive. Because what a lot of people don't understand with Kamazots is late game. If you drop your passive and you don't have that three stacks on your passive anymore, it is six percent power or six. Sorry. 18% power and 18% lifesteal that you're missing out on, which is gigantic, all right? That's a huge thing to miss out on. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty big. So you wanna make sure that if you do, uh, <clears throat> if you do see a Kamazots video from me, you don't have to skip it because you know I'm winning. You just 
you watch it because you know that I mean there's a chance that uh you learn something, you know? And I know the video is already 10 minutes, but um why not just show you guys a second game if I can. And I want to prove to you guys that I'm GM. Hopefully this loads before my match loads in. It's because a lot of people don't think I am. So GM right there, rank 17, like I said. Um, apparently I'm in Latham North with 35 and 5 is my record, but that's not at all true. But yeah, so um, I'm just showing y'all y'all a little bit of camp sets. And I'm happy too because it's like when you guys request gods that I'm really good with, I know that they don't really get a lot of views, like Poseidon and Set and um, Poseidon, Set and Kamazots and Hoi like all these gods that I'm really, really good with. Um, nobody ever watches the video because, again, they're all just like, ah, eh, fuck it. What's the reason? You know, it's just he's just winning. You know, all I'm gonna all I'm gonna see him do is sit there and win, and I don't want to do that because it's boring to me. And I understand that it could be boring. But the way you get better at this game is not by watching somebody um, do meme builds and fuck around and um, uh, lose even. I mean losing does make you learn but watching somebody lose doesn't really make you learn unless they're talking about it. Um. Oh, it's the same dude, and he's on Poseidon. Maybe he's a lot better of a Poseidon than he's a, a, a different guy. Um, I'm actually, because he's Poseidon... Ah, no. I'm just going to do this still. And this is a really risky play, by the way. Picking up Horrific instead of Aegis is really risky, because I'm going for that first blood. If I don't get first blood here, I'm probably going to lose the game. So, um, So, yeah. But if I go Aegis... Now, good luck. You too. So now we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can do something special here. When I play Poseidon, I like to start blue. Yeah, I saw him in mid. I don't know if he saw me. No, oh, come on. Okay, that one actually was like a bug, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna give him red, I'm pretty sure. Where did he go? Oh, he's behind me. All right, perfect. So we got the buffs we needed, and um, we got the passive lined up. So all's good in the world so far. Are you master of GM? I'm GM. Okay, so let's go just do my blue, I guess. Fuck it. If I can shut down the early game of Poseidon and maybe try to snowball off of it, that's like the best case scenario for me right now because I want I don't want to pick that up by the way. I don't really give a fuck about blue buff that much. I just the reason I picked this one up is because I wanted the sustain, the mana sustain. But it's really good that we hit level 5 before him because I don't want to get fucking cracking because I started with horrific, you feel me? The 94 damage. Hmm. He's still not level 5. I can be a little bit extra aggressive right now just because he isn't level 5 yet. And I would really love to be able to like get a kill on him or something, but we're not going to be able to. I don't think that my start was bad. I think a lot of people will argue about my start being bad because I um, I lost like half of the first wave. But he lost all three buffs. So, you know, when it evens out, obviously, just by looking at the gold, I'm much higher in XP and gold than he is. 
What I will say that's a negative is that I don't really get to flex on him with the early game like Kamazots normally does get to do. That, that does kind of suck. If I can hit my 2 on him, he will die. Again, I got that 18% lifesteal going right now. He could try to kill me with a Kraken if he's so pleased. But I don't think he's going to. I don't think he wants to. I think he's probably a little bit too scared. And don't forget, I got a lot of mana with my Blackthorn, so it might look like I have no mana to fight, but just you wait. I do. He's level 6. I really like that he's just letting me do whatever I want. It's very, very kind of him. Um, I'm going to max my 1 here. Last game you saw me max my, my 3, and that's because I felt like I needed more sustain. Um, but this game I feel like I don't need that much more sustain. Oh, well played. Now do you want to come pick it up or not? He's gonna all. Yep. Perfect for me. Perfect. Now he has no secure over me for this red buff. Gonna hold my two for it. Thank you. All right, and just like that, we are level nine to his level seven. Are you gonna back? He wants to back. Ow. Oh, if that two hit, he was dead. I'm a sucker for those kind of plays. Everyone knows it. But I do have 57 MP5, so like, you ain't gonna catch me missing out on, on kill opportunities because of mana, that's for damn sure. You're gonna miss me catching out on kill opportunities because I fucking blow up this game and can't hit anything. Alright, fine by me, man. Fine by me. Fuck it. Let's go back. I'll get my boots. Um, normally, I think right here I'd actually go Genji's, probably. If this was a serious game, like, and I actually wanted to teach people how to play the game. Which I do, but also uh, I just beat this guy and I feel kind of bad for him because I don't think that he's supposed to be getting matched up with me. So I'm not going to do the super tryhard build. But um, for those people out there that don't really give a fuck about etiquette in duel and just want to, you know, catch dubs, the go to item here would be Genji's for sure. Just because you get that cooldown and that. Ooh, 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 I could kill him. I could kill him right now. All he needs to do is crack me for me to die. All I need to do for him to die is hit two abilities. There's one. I just need my two now. He's backing. Okay. If he backs, I'm, I'm okay with it. There you go. There you go. Patience is a virtue. Don't let anyone tell you different. And once again, don't forget, it might look like we have no mana to fight, but trust me when I say we do. Okay, you don't have to worry about that. Alright, good bracer, good bracer. I'm gonna clear these. I'm getting his blue buff, unless he krakens me for it, which... I don't think he can do, considering he literally just Kraken. Um, I could pick that up, but I don't think I need to. Blackthorn gives me infinite mana, so we're chilling. I want the red buff. I think he backed. If he didn't, he's going to be popping up with half health here somewhere. He did back. Because he backed, I'm going to get this red buff. I'm going to use everything on it immediately, because he's not going to be able to get here fast enough. 
Also, I have him fucking freaking out. Right, just clear these out. He's back in. I'm going to go back also. Um, I could go Jotuns here, which I think I might, I'm might. i going to go. And the reason I'm going to go Jotuns instead of Genji's... Um, one, it's because of the snowball potential because I'm already ahead. I'm already, you know, 1.6k gold ahead and three levels. Um, but regardless of that, that 20% cooldown instead of 10% is pretty big. Now here's a play that you probably shouldn't do. The reason you shouldn't do that play, and the reason I did do the play, are actually the same reason. Because if you miss something, you will die. He has Kraken up, and you have no way to get away from the Kraken besides ulting, right? The reason I did it is because if I miss something, I die. I was pretty certain I wasn't going to miss anything. And that's just, that's confidence in my skill on a play, like, just as a player. And, um... Alright, there's a Kraken. Does ne negative 6 damage. Alright, he's dead. That's probably going to be a Surrender. If it's not a Surrender, that's fine. We're going to go and get Bull Demon. But yeah, back to that uh, that dive, the blink over the wall. Um, I did it because my confidence is, as a player, and especially with Kamazots, is really high. So, because of that, I was pretty damn confident I wasn't going to miss my 2 or my 1. Um... And so I just kind of, I did the play, but for someone starting out, you probably shouldn't do that play because if you do miss one ability, you're going to die and that play is going to be real bad. And um, not only will it be real bad, but it also give him back, not a lead necessarily, but definitely a foot back into the game. I was going to pick that up, but I don't want to. I want to get red buff. I'm going to just let my minions push there. What's up, dude? I hit him for 300 damage. Oh, I'm bad. Alright. Cool. Go ahead and just clear this archer. My one does enough damage to clear the archers, so... There we go. Now my wave will push up, and we still got 30 seconds to do the damage. And I'm building full damage, so uh, 30 seconds is more than enough time in order to do this. I do have to make sure that I avoid his Kraken, though, because that will be annoying. Okay, never mind. The only reason I wanted to avoid the Kraken was because um, the CC could be really annoying to... Like, if he cleared the wave and then Krakened me, um, then I probably wouldn't be able to... Uh, to get the Phoenix, but he has played pretty hard. Uh, according to this player, the only reason I'm winning is because I have an OP God. Could be true, honestly. Get full health again. And here we go. We're gonna win right here. Or we should be able to. The reason I wanted to focus on him, the reason I focused on him instead of the Titan was because his Kraken was coming up really soon. And uh, I used my ult to do damage to the Titan. So if he, if I stopped for like five seconds to hit the Titan instead of him, I might've won, but if I didn't win in those five seconds, then the Kraken would have killed me and he would have been able to push back, gotten my tower, gotten three waves, and gotten the XP from shutting me down, which would have brought him about three levels back into the game and 2,000 gold. So I didn't want to make that happen. I just wanted to shut the game out as best that I could. And the way I do that is by winning and killing him. Uh, and killing him secures the win for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this double feature. A very, very informative um I just want to make people better at the game, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. We got to hit the 100K mark. Until next time, guys. Peace.